Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hi, grade 3. How are you today, grade 3? Today, inshallah, we will start to revise on unit 4, the first question today, and the first part of the first question. Put true or false and correct the false sentences. Number 1. Forces can only move things. You remember this? Forces can only move things or also can stop things. So, forces can move and stop things. So, this will be false. And we underline only move and write and stop. And stop. So, forces can move and stop things. Number two, we can't see the force, but we can see what it does. We can't see the force with our eyes, but we can see what the force does. We can see the force push or pull, what it does. So this will be true. Number three, a force can't go in any direction. And we use arrow to show this direction. Hi, grade three. A force can't go in any direction, or the force can't go in all directions, in any direction. So this will be false and we underline can't and write can. So a force can go in any direction and we use arrow to show this direction. Arrow, you remember? Like this or like this or any direction we want. Number four, butterfly. You know butterfly is using its wings to pull the air so it can fly. Butterfly is using its wings to pull the air or to push the air, to push the air. So this will be false. Number five, the force of butterfly wings is so small. This is right. The force of butterfly wings is so small. So we can feel it. Can you feel the flying of butterfly around you when the butterfly flies around you can you feel its wings moving no you can't feel it because it's a very very small force so we can't feel it this one will be what can't number six the force of the earthquake what is the meaning of earthquake shaking of the earth Shaking of the earth is a very big force, so we can feel it. Yes, of course, we can feel the earth quick. Number seven, a pull force moves things away from us. You remember, pull towards you, push away from you, pull towards you, push away from you. So a pull force moves things away from you. From us, no. Push force. Push force. Number eight. A push force moves things away from us. Yes, this is true. So pull towards you. Push away from you. Number nine. Measure is to discover the exact size or amount of something. This is true. Number ten. Weight is the amount of matter in an object. You remember this? The amount of matter in any object is called what? Called weight or mass? Mass. So this will be false. Underline weight and write mass. Number 11. Mass is measured in kilograms or grams. Mass is measured in units, kilograms or grams. I can say these apples weight or sorry, the mass of the apples is about 2 kilograms. So this will be true. Okay, grade 3, thank you. If you can't understand any point, please send me a message. Bye-bye.